मैम मोनिका राना दिस इज हिमाचल थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव मैन यू वॉचिंग चैनल लेट स्टार्ट विद द हेडलाइंस डिस्कस बाई पोल नेक्स्ट असेंबली इलेक्शन विद प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी से चीफ मिनिस्टर जयराम ठाकुर थर्टीन हाउसेज डैमेज इन फतेहपुर ऑफ कांगड़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टूडेंट्स डिनाइड जॉब्स इन हमीरपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश टू फिफ्टी टू हिमाचल रोड क्लोज आफ्टर लैंड स्लाइड्स एच पी एस सी बी एल पेंशनर्स ब्लेम पावर बोर्ड ऑफिसर्स फॉर लॉसिस दिल्ली कोविड टेली इन इंडिया लोएस्ट इन वन Modi heads out at Congress as another stormy day in Parliament looms. Congress leads opposition strategy on Pegasus Kharge to up leaders move adjournment notices in Rajya Sabha. Record 18,500 tourists arriving in Himachal Pradesh daily. 7,500 visiting Atal Tunnel Rohtang sees the DGP Sanjay Kundal. On Sheila Dixit's second death anniversary, leaders remember the Congress veteran. Now news in detail discussed by poll next assembly elections with prime minister modi says the chief minister jaram thakur himachal pradesh chief minister jaram thakur had detailed discussion with prime minister narendra modi on the four forthcoming by elections including the one to the mandi lok sabha seat during his recent visit to delhi discussions were held with the prime minister modi regarding the by elections to the jubal kotkai fatehpur and arki assembly seats and the mandi lok sabha constituency he said he added that the prime minister also inquired about the preparedness for the next assembly elections i also took up the matter of pending projects concerning himachal pradesh including the world drug and medical devices park which need to be expedited as all formalities have been completed jaram thakur said He added that some projects had been pending with the central government due to the pandemic. 13 houses damaged in Fatehpur of Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. As many as 13 houses were damaged in Nago village in Fatehpur of Kangra district as the water of a flooded nula entered these houses. The scared villagers raised the alarm but due to torrential rain nobody turned up to their rescue and they spent the night in their damaged houses three cattle were feared to have been washed away the flood water also entered fields damaging the maize and paddy crops an electricity pole was also uprooted plunging the rural areas into darkness as the mankush sharma along with the field revenue staff rushed to the spot and shifted them to a local gurudwara the administration has released rupees 80000 to 11 affected families as an interim relief and ration kits to 12 families he said the staff had been directed to prepare a report so that a compensation could be released to the villagers as per the government relief manual student denied job in hamirpur district of himachal pradesh some students who had registered themselves for the covid vaccine were allegedly denied jobs at the center at dhangota village in versa subdivision of the district yesterday the health authorities organized a vaccination camp at the health center and some college students came there as early as 5:30 am to get their names registered Though their names were among the first to 50 registered person on the list they were denied the vaccine Anchala student alleged that the health staff refused to vaccinate her without giving any reason she required vaccination to appear in her university exams she said that the health staff was following a pick and choose policy for vaccination rk agnihotri chief medical officer cmo said that he would speak to the block medical officer to improve the working of the vaccination center unfortunately despite the intervention of the cmo the mess continued at the dhangota vaccination center till the evening 252 himachal pradesh roads closed for after landslides as many as 252 roads were blocked due to rain related incidents in the past 24 hours a maximum of 148 roads were closed in the mandi zone 54 in kangra zone and 43 in the shimla zone the local mt office has issued an orange warning of thunderstorm lightning and heavy to very heavy rain at isolated places in 10 district wearing kinnor and lahol spiti on july 20 and a yellow warning of thunderstorm lightning and heavy rain on july 21 moderate to very heavy rain lashed in several parts of the state hpscbl pensioners blame power board officers for losses 
the Himachal Pradesh State Electricity Board Limited Pensioners Union has blamed officers for the loss of the board. Devraj Barma, president of the union, said that the union had collected evidence against some of them. The board was generating high revenue, but due to a few corrupted people, it landed in financial crunch. The union demanded the restoration of the electricity allowance and 20% reservation in jobs for the families of the board employees. He said the LTC should be provided to the pensioners and medical allowance be raised to rupees 1000. Telecovid tally in India lowest in 125 days. India recorded 30,093 new coronavirus infection, the lowest in 125 days. Taking the total tally of COVID-19 to 3 crore 11,74,322. According to the Union Health Ministry data updated on Tuesday. The death toll climbed to 4,14,482 with 374 daily fatalities, the lowest in 111 days, while the active cases have declined to 4,6130, the lowest in 117 days. The active case load comprises 1.3% of the total infections and the national COVID recovery rate stands at 97.37%, the data showed. Narendra Modi heads out at Congress as another stormy day in Parliament looms. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday slammed the Congress, accusing it of trying to bitiate the atmosphere in the country on the issue of vaccines. Speaking at the BJP Parliamentary Party meeting, he said there is no dearth of vaccines in the country. The Congress had lost all elections and was spreading lies. Sources said quoting the Prime Minister at the meeting, ahead of any stormy day in the monsoon session of Parliament. The Congress is accusing the government it knows only to blame others. It should be buried about its future. The Prime Minister said, accusing the opposition party of indulging in politics of lies. Narendra Modi also told BJP MPs to counter the lies being spread by the opposition about the coronavirus situation in the country. Congress led the opposition strategy on Pegasus. Kharge top leaders move adjournment notices in Rajya Sabha. The joint opposition on Tuesday raised the slogans demanding urgent discussion in Rajya Sabha on the allegation of snooping on politicians, judges, journalists and activists with the House witnessing the first adjournment of the day till noon. All major opposition parties including the Congress, NCP and TMC have given adjournment notices to discuss what they have described as a serious breach of security. Leader of opposition Malika Arjun Kharge earlier on Tuesday hosted opposition leaders including NCP Chief Sharad Babar and TMC floor leader Derek O'Brien in his chambers to evolve a joint strategy on Pegasus. Record 18,500 tourists arriving in Himachal Pradesh daily, 7,500 visiting Atal Tunnel Rohtang, says DGP Sanchakunda. A record number of 18,500 tourists have been visiting Himachal Pradesh daily, whereas 7,500 tourists have been visiting the tourist hotspot Atal Tunnel Rohtang, ATR, said Director General of Police Sanjay Kundu on Monday. Police have efficiently tackled the challenge posed by incoming tourists amid COVID-19, added DGP Sanjay Gundu. We have never seen this much of tourist influx in Himachal Pradesh. It was also possible because of the COVID complaint behavior of the tourists, added Sanjay Gundu. On Sheila Dikshay's second death anniversary, leaders remember the Congress of veteran. Tributes pour in for the former Chief Minister of Delhi, Sheila Dixit, on Tuesday as the day marked the second death anniversary of the Congress veteran. Taking to Twitter to pay their respect, the Congress referred to Dixit as an architect of modern Delhi and credited her for making the national capital a world-class city. Today, we pay tribute to Sheila Dixit Ji, the longest serving CM of Delhi and the longest serving female chief minister of any state, the party also said. Arvind Kejriwal, the current chief minister of the national capital, also paid his tribute to the late leader. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal wrote tributes to former chief minister of Delhi, Srimati Sheila Dixit Ji, on her death anniversary. The three time chief minister of the national capital, Sheila Dixit, is credited with transforming Delhi into a modern, contemporary city. 
She passed away in 2019 after a cardiac arrest at the age of 81 years old. So this is all for this time. Stay connected and keep watching Hilka's Sushara. Thank you.